All right, y'all. It's been a minute. Kinda. Um, get on to a couple new projects here. Uh, today, where I'm gonna be setting up it is right down here. And what we're gonna do is I got a uh, DC refrigerator freezer and do the initial unboxing, hook it up, test it out. Uh, so far as it running off 110 volts uh, shore power or off, you know, out of your wall of power. And then uh, after we test that, see how that works, make sure it does work. We're gonna probably take that River 2 Max and hook it up with that and see how long it runs because that's the smallest power supply I got. And I would like to do a real world test. And part of the real world test is I need to defrost the refrigerator inside the camper. So that'll give me a place to put that providing this new refrigerator freezer portable 12 volt powered works. So we're going to give that a shot and uh, we'll go from there. All right. We're going to get the unboxing this thing. <laughs> It's been, it's been a minute since I ordered it. And to tell you the truth, I forgot the name of it. I got it off of uh, Amazon. It's a lower mid-tier uh, cooler refrigerator freezer. I got it for basically emergencies in case power goes out. I want to be able to run something for it. Extended a period of time on the power boxes I have and i think it's 55 core we'll get all we'll get into all of that first of all i got to unbox it and i got to get to read some uh instructions on it so first we're going to unbox it and uh make sure it ain't all dinged up and then we're going to plug it up and test it i do have a uh refrigerator freezer thermometer we will be doing some actual checking so without further ado, let's uh let's open this up. Let's set that there. All right, appears to be packaged well. It uh, it ain't the heaviest thing in the world, but it, it ain't the lightest thing in the world. You know how a cooler is half full? No, that's what this feels like with nothing in it. So it's not gonna be totally portable, but I think it's gonna do what I need it to do, if it works. Right, let's see if I can pull this out of the box on my own. struggle is real they do have it packed well I'll give them that I can do this before I get styrofoam all over the place let's see will you come on out now And it is out. This is a Domendi. Ah, like I said, I did forget. It's a Domendi. That's a name brand I have not heard of, and you probably haven't either. But we're going to see. how it works. Uh, let's open it up, see what's in there. Uh, it's pretty good size, it's deep. In it, we have your AC power supply and power core, oh, that's your 
that's your car power cord is your AC brick cord part of your AC and here is the manual I very much need to read so I'm gonna get this styrofoam in and cleaned up before it blows all around the yard and we're gonna plug it up 120 volts after I read after I read this and uh, see how it works all right now this totally unboxed uh, there's the name brand and I can guarantee you this is not one of the more expensive ones you'll find the Mindy I guess is pronounced it uh I think it's somewhere around 55 quart it says 50 liters uh, not due to conversion it's got a basket in it it is deep I mean it it goes way down in there and you can see the drain plug and it does have a light right there and right here is your control panel and it seems to have a gasketed lid with a little uh, lip right there for sealing we'll see how that works it appears to have some kind of magnetic yeah there's a little bit of tension there to magnetically keep it closed if you come on down here this is where you plug your power both ac and dc in and i've never seen plugs like that before so i don't know if this is kind of a standard thing to use on these i don't know uh we'll see and the back of it is just there's this little diagram nomenclature plate i guess you would call it and the other side is just a handle so that's your breeze around this everybody gets a kick out of this i don't know why but we're going to remove the plastic <laughs> so anyway we're going to get this thing hooked up and get it set to a temperature get the thermometer in it and see how long it takes to get to that temperature and we're going to go from there next thing after that after we see it runs we're going to defrost the inside of this camper's refrigerator so next one will be setting this thing up and going to temperature and next one will be time on how long it took it to get the set temperature all right just got our own powered up uh screen's flashing like crazy on this camera but i got it set for zero degrees and it's 78 at the moment i'm getting ready to stick the thermometer inside the cooler you can see where that's at and we can look at the time time is 10 32 and 70, 78 degrees i got it set at zero and i have it set on max it can there is a uh, eco mode you can go to settings and it's eco or max it is your choices uh if i don't know if you see that up in the corner it is bluetooth there is an app involved with this if you choose to use it i am going to use it and set it up but we're going to first tell you how long it takes this thing to cool. I don't hear it making any noise yet, so we'll see. I'm going to set this thermometer down in there, and we'll get back with you in just a little bit. All right. In the 30 minutes I was gone, I downloaded this thing. The refrigerator has an app. Uh, I downloaded the app. Current time... 
is 11.03 and that'll be roughly 30 minutes and we went from 78 degrees to 44 degrees and I found out through the app I don't know if you can see there's a ma I showed you that the max and the eco you change that through the settings button and there's over here on this side you got a an HM and L and that's your battery protection if you're hooked to a car battery and the only way I found to change that is through the app so I'm gonna cut you off right now and I'm gonna cut back on the app let you have a little look at that and I'll show you some things all right um, this appears to still be hooked up from last time I didn't change anything uh, it just hooked it was still it stayed hooked up automatically I guess thought I was gonna have to rehook to it but it's not a problem to hook up you just your standard Bluetooth hookup procedure you can see you got a little temp uh, current temperature is 41 degrees and I got it set at minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit it'll go from minus 4 to minus or not minus 68 degrees is your high setting and you can I guess you can bump it from there yeah yeah, so I just changed it to zero instead of uh, minus two. And you can see it changing over here. And you go from, we're on Fahrenheit now. And you see I got the battery protection set on, I'll show you over here on the screen. But right now it's on low and you can see the L at the bottom. If it ain't flickering too bad. And it should have changed the M. And it should have changed the H. Anyway, that's low, medium, high for your battery protection on your car. I'm leave it at low since I plugged into the wall. But anyway, it's 39 degrees inside the, the mid day. So we're going to let it run for a little while and come back. All right. Well, an hour checkup here and after an hour according to the display here we've got down to 10 degrees and you see the times 11:33, and like I said down to 10 degrees I'm going to put these two room temperature bottles of water in here and uh, see what happens with them uh, Another thing I didn't go over with you a while ago is how to get the app and in your user's manual if you go to page 7 you got two barcodes or QR codes to scan one for Apple one for Android I scanned it the name of the app is actually car refrigerator so that'll probably give you an idea what I pay for this thing not a lot <clears throat> anyway we're gonna drop those two water bottles in there and I got it set at zero and we're at 10 right now so within an hour so i'm pretty happy with that oh here's another thing <laughs> if you want to recharge something here's your usb port on here so you can recharge your phone or whatever if you're plugged into power which is, i mean i guess is a usable feature anyway we're going to drop these two bottles of water oh there's something else i ain't showed y'all too I'm trusting the display on that. Let's see what the thermometer says. Thermometer says nine or 10 degrees. And this is nine degrees. So I feel like we're pretty, pretty accurate there. So we're gonna set these. I'll set them up here. Set these two bottles of water right there. Cause that'd be the hottest spot of the refrigerator. We'll see how long it takes them to freeze. Again, we're at nine degrees. All right. This will probably be the last time I touch base. This might be it for the day on this. Uh, we're down to eight degrees. According to that, you can see I have the bottled waters in there. So we'll see. 
how that goes. Um, we're going to leave it powered up and running tomorrow. Probably the real world test for how I'm going to use this thing. Basically for emergencies. Um, this is just a simple test. Like I said, the deep, uh, refrigerator in the camper needs defrosting. I'm going to plug this up to the Eco Flow River 2 Max. And I'm going to watch after it. I'll unhook everything tonight and let it get back down to room temperature and start off fresh with the River 2 Max because that's how you would do it. If you really needed to use it, you wouldn't be have a pre-cooled cooler. So we're going to do that. And uh, the only other thing I got to touch base on I got to figure out, and maybe y'all can help me with this, is this style plug right here. That's the only plug. It come, that's what plugs in your AC and DC chargers. And I'm not real familiar with that style in i wish it i wish i had a different one but anyway that, you see that's what plugs into your car but uh i'm not i'm not familiar at all with that so if any of y'all know what that is what standard that is you can let me know in the comments and like i said it's probably it for today and uh we'll pick up tomorrow with some i might show you the water bottles frozen if they if they freeze and what time that is We'll see you later. And why not add some Katie can. Hey, Katie. Say hey. Say hey, Katie. Say hey, Katie. KK. KK, what are you doing? You doing? Yeah, I just had to hit the road for a little bit. Uh, leaving her to mend the uh, AC unit. Not AC unit. Uh, Fraser refrigerator. When I left it, uh, left it with the two water bottles still in there. It, uh, temperature was still nine degrees. I think that's as low as it's going to go with nothing in it. I imagine once you put stuff in there, it can achieve a lower temperature. And we're looking, looking outside the car right now, it's 87 degrees. So we're sitting at 87 degrees air temperature and 10 degrees inside the refrigerator freezer uh i feel like that's good anyway i just uh and part of this i'm trying out new equipment so i don't know if this will make the video or not but anyway uh that's where i left it and we'll check it again later this afternoon to see if it froze those two bottles of water thank you we're gonna wrap this up for today um It's been on, I forgot what time this morning. Do you actually know before I'll know because I get, when I go back and edit the video. But it's been on all day. I had it set at zero degrees. It did get down about eight degrees. And now it's at 13. Uh, time is 5.56. Uh, I had it set at zero and it got it around 88 degrees today so we'll see and it's got nothing in it except the two water bottles you saw me put in there and speaking of those water bottles let us see find out together the only thing i did is i threw them in the bottom of the thing before i went in town a couple of hours ago so they're in the bottom and that is frozen for the most part so that was the only two things in there it says we're riding a little bit over 10 degrees 11 or 12 13 14 these are coming in the house or in the camper next time you see this it'll be in the camper we'll be running it off the eco flow delta river max or river max pro whatever i can't keep up with all the names but uh, yeah, that's for the first day. I'm gonna call that good. And next time you see it, it'll be in the house or in the camper. We'll be using it to store the stuff that's in the camper refrigerator to defrost that refrigerator. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get this off the ground. Like I said, getting a little newer equipment. Trying to make them a little bit better. So please like and subscribe. 
Tell a friend. Share. All that good stuff. Thank you.